I grew up uh, in a family that was a family of, of non-believers. My mother was married seven times and my father three times, and so it was very much a, a broken family. And during this time period of my mother being divorced, I became very self-sufficient. Did everything in life uh, with the purpose of proving myself, and I wouldn't classify this as a, as a positive trait. I was married in the, in the 1980s uh, to a wonderful woman, and uh, my wife uh, grew up Catholic, and I grew up nothing, and we got married in the Catholic Church, and frankly, I could have been married in a Hindu temple. It would have meant nothing to me. God gifted me with uh, certain gifts, as he does many of us, and I became a chief financial officer at the age of 29, and at 31, uh, we were able to take the company through, through a public offering. And in the 90s, my wife actually became a, a Christian. From that point forward, we actually had a lot of conflict in our life. During this time period, our marriage wasn't healthy. We were really struggling with a lot of issues. We were struggling with my pride. We were struggling with my drinking. I had just a full regard for my reputation and my money and my career and my material items. And all these things were a scorecard that were being kept. Things seemingly on the outside were going very, very well. In my spirit, in my heart, and in my relationship with my wife, things were very much strained. In the early 2000s, my wife asked me to go to church. And after pushing back for many years, I finally went to church. And although was not a believer, I was impacted by a sermon and, and started thinking about um, matters of God more and more often. I was in London, England, and I was walking around, and I thought to myself, where would the world be without Jesus? And I'm, I have no doubt that this occurred over a period of a couple of years of searching and having secret meetings with, uh, with the pastor of our church. And it occurred to me at that moment that the world would be in a much different place without Jesus than with him. Yeah, there's brokenness. Yeah, there's sin everywhere. Yeah, there's depravity. But there's no question in my mind from that day forward that Jesus uh, is, is the answer. I got down on my knees and prayed to God and I actually laid on the floor and I sobbed like a baby all night long. I came back the next day and I was presenting to a, a large group in London, England and uh, one of the board members um, walked up to me and he said, are you okay? And uh, I said, oh yeah, I'm okay. And I was okay, but I was different. All of a sudden my relationship with Christ got great and I, I was joy filled that I was having conflict with the board of directors and other people I work with. And one of the reasons I was having this conflict is because I started to think more about how we were impacting people's lives, about uh, laying people off, for instance, about all kinds of matters that might actually personally impact them. I actually fell more and more in love with the people that I worked with, and yet I was having more and more conflict with the leaders of our, of our business. We were very focused, as many public companies are, on earnings per share, on short-term results. And I started to think more and more about people's lives, about their faith, about their walk with, their, with God, about things in their lives that I felt should be very important to them that I never had any regard for before. It was a few years ago after my conversion, after Jesus saved me, that I made the decision to fully and wholly commit my life to Christ. So here I was at the peak of my earning years, as a public company chief financial officer, a member of the board of the board of directors, and things going very well, and God took me a different direction. I started to read the Bible, and things started to make sense to me. It became very clear to me what Jesus was doing in my life, and I look forward to spending the rest of my life actually serving God in a radical way. Now that's a life transformed, a life transformed from the dark, from being angry, to being fully and wholly in love with Christ. And for that, I am immensely appreciative of God's grace, uh, and I give him all the credit. My name is Stu, and my life is a transformed life, period.